Everybody want to be a bodybuilder, but nobody want to lift no heavy ass weight, you know. And that's true because you know you look around at all these guys. Everybody want to be a bodybuilder, and then they think, oh, I just go in there and lift a few weights, you know, do do a lightweight diet, and I'll be all right. No, it ain't, it ain't like that. You gotta work. You gotta work hard. What's going on, guys? Uh, another beautiful day out in California. I'm uh, headed to the gym. It's a little earlier than I'd like to go. It's 10.23. I just took my pre-workout. Um, had a brain fart there. It's going to be a pull day. I'm going to do um, Pendele rows. And then probably just keep it uh, rowing motions. And... Uh, I haven't hit Pendele rows in like a couple weeks now, but I'm looking forward to it. One of my favorite back exercises to do. Thank you to the online coach for that. And let's fucking get it, man. Let's fucking get it. What's going on, guys? This is me just finishing up my warm up. I did 12 minutes on the Stairmaster and it was a fucking beast. And this is the gum I chew. I chew like three pieces of this shit. I have to have it. I don't know, there's something without it. It's not right if I don't have it within the gym. But uh, that shit kicked my ass. Then uh, since this is my pull day, I'm starting off with rear delts. Uh, this little superset is really light. But um, trying to fix those shoulders, get those rear delts stronger, and uh, just correct my posture overall. So did really lightweight, uh, four sets of 15 with this, and then I switched right over, uh, switched to a higher weight, and I did, I fucked up right here, I think I got the little wire that hook hooks into, caught on something, but then I switched into these underhand pull downs or whatever you want to call it just to get the blood in the muscle just really trying to go real light um, and warm up right there yep and uh, yeah four sets of this just getting a good pump and trying to get the uh, back activated and then I was gonna go do pendulum rows but there was nothing open, so I was like, okay, the T-bar rows are open. This is what you got to do sometimes, you know, like, not everything's going to be open when you need it to. So I stayed here for a while. I did, I think I did like 8 to 10 sets, um, and I just stuck with this weight, and I didn't rest a lot. I think I rested like 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, stuck with 8 reps on this. And sorry for this uh, ass angle, guys, but this is... Uh, I'm still trying to play around with um, different angles on what to <laughs> how to uh, record good angles and stuff because I don't have somebody to help film for me so I don't mean to be sticking my ass in your face but you know you can see the lats you can see the the pull and you can see what type of weight I'm using um, and today I was having some really bad lower back pain so this is me stretching <clears throat> um, I have a video out what I do to, to fix that and uh, you know what I did after this I was stretching all through my workout um, just trying to stretch out my lower back and then uh, you know after my workout I came home and sat on this thing I have this thing called the spine works it's like this thing that you lay on and it really stretches out your lower back and you lay on it for like 15 minutes and you know, I felt pretty good after that but I think this is like my fourth or fifth set. I think in total I did like eight to 10 sets on this man just with eight reps. I was just not trying to go heavy. I was just trying to get a lot of volume in because I was just kind of waiting around for the the barbells to open up. And um, I mean, this is just, it felt really good. Like it just feels really good to do this much volume. You know, you're getting in good work. I mean, it got kind of tough after a while. I mean, this is really lightweight, but if you do it over and over and over and over and over again with no rest, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be good on your muscles. And this is me stretching again. Uh, one of my favorite stretches to 
hit the muscle. It feels like my QL muscle. I'm not really sure on what all the muscles are called, but I can feel this one muscle that gets really, really tight right in my lower back. And I, that, that stretch right there, I can just feel it stretching it out and it feels really good. But um, I'm not even counting how many sets I'm doing. I'm just waiting. So, I mean, this is just another set and uh, eight reps. And then finally, I was just like, fuck it, man. I took one of the bench press barbells and I was like, I'm gonna do some pendulate rows. Back was feeling really kind of shaky. So I was like, going really light at first and I was watching a Bradley Martin video yesterday um, about how to warm up for bench press and he says you know always warm up with a lighter weight because if you have an injury or you're gonna injure yourself it's better to find out on a lighter weight and that just made so much sense to me because you don't want to just jump into like a heavy weight like and then just fuck yourself up completely especially because my back wasn't feeling too great like it's just stupid to me to like not pyramid up like just to start at a heavy weight and then find out if you have an injury or injure yourself because you're not warmed up you have no blood in the muscle so this is me doing my pendulate rows um i haven't done these in a while and I, I really miss these because i just feel like they're very like a power movement and i moved up to 135 here and i was kind of nervous about doing this weight because i mean I used to do heavier than this, you know, a month ago or so, but I'm still relatively new to this exercise and I'm, I, I'm still working on my form. You know, sometimes I hit the, my knees with the bar when it comes down. I'm still trying to find out where to bring it, but uh, this felt really good and I was planning on doing a five by five, but like I said before in my earlier videos, like I get stronger the more I get into my workout for some reason. So I think I did five reps here. This is my second set on 135. Needed five reps. And then like, I just kept doing more reps. I rested like, probably like three minutes in between sets, just cause I was like, I was kind of winded after doing these. Like I need to get my cardio up. I need to get my lungs stronger. And this is just the overall pretty uh, heavy movement to do in this position, you know, especially with back pain. Um, but I love this, I love this exercise. I mean, you can hit it, you can feel it hit your entire back. Um, you know, you're bent completely parallel to the floor. It's a little different than the bent over rows because it's a little easier on your lower back because you're not slowly dropping the weight. You're kind of just letting the, the weight drop on its own, but controlling it. So it's not like just flying to the ground. And uh, that's why I love it because it just feels powerful um and obviously you're you're working your lats and your back um very well with this movement and it's a compound movement which i always love to do i have to do at least one big power movement in every one of my workouts whether it's my high volume day or my strength days and this is my heavy back day so this is like i would say the bread and butter of my workout um so I think this is the one where I, I did as many reps as possible and I think I got like 10 reps. I just, I was feeling it right here. Like this is my last set. I just feel like I get stronger. Like the more I do a movement, it's, it's kind of weird. But then I moved on to close grip rows. I decided to just do rows today because I really want to work on my thickness on my back. I just feel like, you know, I can work on width later. But I, I'm just like, I'm really into rowing right now, like rowing movements. So I started off really light here. I think I did like four or five, even maybe even six sets. But um, the first two sets were really light. And I did like just 10 reps of each of them. And then I moved up to heavier and heavier weights, as you can see. And the rep range dropped down. I failed it around uh, eight reps on this next set, I think. I was exhausted at this point too. I mean, I, I was just winded from the <laughs> the stairmaster. Really, I mean, if you guys want to test how good your cardio is, step on the stairmaster for 20 minutes, and you'll see if you're in good uh, anaerobic shape, if your heart's healthy. Cause uh, that shit was hard as fuck. And I'm gonna try to do the stairmaster more, man. Cause that shit, I was on there for like two minutes, and I was like, oh my god, I'm winded. 
Like it was so fucking crazy. But yeah, this is um my third or fourth set. Getting heavier and heavier, man. I'm trying to work on my my squeezing of the uh, my shoulder blades just really trying to focus on like my rear delts and really trying to get the mind muscle connection on the the rear delts like as kai green said you know just put your mind in in your rear delts put your mind in your real rear delts and really that's what it's going to take to to get those muscles to grow and then after that i think i did three movements total for back minus the warm-up and then i did these um barbell curls but i i I did a variation I was sitting on the wall like you see there my back's completely rested on the wall I have no momentum and all I can feel this is in my biceps and it burns man and this is a really highly effective bicep workout I mean I was just using the bar and it was just I could tell I was getting good work in and so I did this for two sets just because I, I felt really good I mean I just like really enjoyed how it felt on my biceps and um you know i recommend that for anybody like you know that's the best way to work any type of muscle is to isolate it and um this definitely worked i mean you can see it in my face uh i tried to go up these little baby weights these uh five pounders because that i mean just the bar felt heavy but uh, this is absolutely one of the best exercises for mass. It's a compound exercise for your biceps. And just adding that little extra component to it to like not swinging or jerking the weight at all. You're not using any shoulder, you're all bicep by sitting on the wall. I mean, it, it burns, man. But um, this is my heavy day, so I tried to go heavy. So I stepped off the wall for this one. I got a different view. I only, I only was going with like 10 pounds on the side here, but still that's heavy for me, especially after all that work. <clears throat> but um, I got the belts on, as you can see. I just really like wearing it because I feel like it protects my back. Uh, feels really sturdy. I feel like I can lift more weight. It just makes me feel like an overall like more powerful position. And I think I, I failed around like 8 to 10 reps here. Um, really just trying to finish my biceps off on my pull day and i think i did one more set here but uh really trying to grow my arms man um obviously my back was the main focus in this workout because i have my own arm day and i really just like destroy my biceps on my arm day so this is just kind of like you know power bodybuilding like i do the power movements uh you know the pendulum row and then the accessory movements you know the close grip bro and, and then these bicep curls but this is coming to the end of the workout this is the last exercise i did and always thank you for watching uh leave a comment let me know what you think that was a fucking epic workout i don't want to say epic because i know a lot of other motherfuckers or people excuse my french do a lot more heavy weight and a lot more volume but for me, that was a good workout. <laughs> I'm exhausted, man. Um, felt really good to get it in. You know, I, I I had a lot of back pain today, which you know you can't really tell on video, but I, I did a little bit of stretching in the video. My left side is killing me. I wore my belt as much as I could, but um, epic video. I mean, epic. I'm fucking delirious. I need some food, man. I'm all red and shit and dehydrated. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm not one of those people that say like and subscribe because I'm just vlogging for my progress. I want to get my progress on, on video because I'm tired of taking pictures and shit. See my fat ass and shit. I'm looking back like, damn. I see my face all sad and shit like... I want to see myself fat and happy, you know, jolly. And then I'll be even more happy when I get a six pack. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day. It's the weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. And get your fucking workout in.